Hello everyone and welcome to the order. Today I'll be modifying the cooling solution on my ASUS HD4850. Currently I am using a dual fan setup for this car. This fan is used to cool the core and the memory while this one is used to cool the voltage regulators. Now as you can see this is not the original cooling that ASUS made for this car. I made it myself. Now this solution works quite well but the downside is that it's quite loud. So I'll be replacing these two fans with this single 120mm fan. First I'll start by disassembling the cooler. It is held in place by two screws on each side. Now let's remove the cooling assembly. And the disassembly is complete. And here is a more detailed look at the assembly. Now by using several steel and plastic elements I must manufacture a new support structure for the 120mm fan. Basically the concept of the structure will be the same as the previous frame. Here is the raw position of the fan. I have placed it in a way so that it covers the heatsink completely and it doesn't get in the way of the PCI Express slot. But you may notice that the fan isn't covering the voltage regulators. Well, I will solve this problem by making a small air duct that will redirect some of the fan's airflow to the voltage regulators. By using the original frame as a guide, I made this mock-up frame on the 120mm fan. All I have to now is to mount it on the GPU to see if it fits. Now let's mount the new frame on the GPU. As you can see, the new frame fits perfectly on the heatsink. After some fine tuning and design changes, I have finally finished the frame for the 120mm fan. Here you can see it. I have added some rubber grommets to reduce vibrations. Here is the air duct for the voltage regulators. And here is the entire frame itself. All I have to do now is to mount it to the GPU. And so the cooling modifications have been complete. But there is one last thing that I need to do before I can mount the GPU in my system. As you can see the fan doesn't have a connector on it. That is why I'll be using this Molex connector. I have determined that I will run the fan at 5 volts which means that I'll be using the red and the black cable from the Molex connector. After I have mounted it I can put it in my system. And here are a couple of more screenshots of the modified cooler. I would like to note that I didn't use a standard PC fan for this cooling modification, rather I used an industrial cooling fan. Industrial cooling fans are a bit different than standard PC fans. In the future I will make a video explaining the main differences. Once I mounted the GPU inside of the system, I proceeded to make some stress tests. As you can see the modified cooler has slightly lower load temperatures and from what I can hear it is noticeably quieter. I can safely say that this mod is a complete success. And so. This concludes my HD4850 cooling modification video. If you have any questions, feel free to send them in. So this is the Tech Order, signing out.